I know I'm going over, but I have to say this, and this was on my list to, to kind of speak about, because going back to the topic of income, right? And you said you don't really have a lot of new friends. I call bullshit on that. And the reason why I call bullshit on that is because a lot of people don't meet their partner until they come into money. You see what I'm saying? Married? Yep. Married? Mm -hmm. Married? I'm not married. You see what I'm saying? But with that being said, it is tough. It is a it is a issue in our community because we don't consider that partner having as much weight as that partner has because they can fuck up the whole empire. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I, my question is, how important is it to not only have a great partner, but have like-minded people around you? Because I call bullshit when a person says, okay, I got a wife, all right? How many of your wives' friends are married? How many of your homeboys can cope with it? Man, bro, she tripping, bro. Nah, dog, don't jump off the ledge, bro. Man, it's good, da 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 You need that. It's a lot of people living their lives off the mere fact to say, bro, I'm the breadwinner. Nobody in my intimate circle can cope with my issues, whether with money, whether with having a family. And they just out here living willy-nilly. They come over to the crib. They 40 years old. They don't got no kids or no responsibilities. Yeah. That's a disaster waiting to happen. You know what I'm saying? And, and that, that's the thing. You got in trouble for it. Yeah. Because yeah. You, you, you were kind of, what's it called? The uh, pregnant, barefoot, barefoot and, pregnant. and pregnant. You was like, yeah, a woman only spoke, spoken, speaking till she's spoken to. Right. That's and how, I was wrong. And that's, but that's how people took your quote. But I was wrong. Yes. But to fix that, I must also say, as the woman, I'm going to hold you accountable as your partner, but your woman or your partner, because we live in a time where men are with men, women are with women, you have to be whatever that person needs you to be. If it is cooking, you have to learn how to cook. Some people may not need you to be a cook, so you don't have to cook, and that's fine with that. I'm, my question is for, for, for you guys is, how important is it to be around like-minded people to assist in your everyday life. It, it's, it's huge. And my wife, we just celebrated our 11th anniversary, been together Beautiful. 14 years, 14 plus years. She's expanded my mind so much. Asia, and I talk about it all the time, everybody knows that, everybody knows my wife. But you have to find somebody that grinds as hard as you. And I wouldn't even, I didn't even fuck with real estate. Mm -hmm. I didn't, real estate, no. I honestly, if I was by myself, I would take my money, my millions, I put it in the bank, I get my 7% every year and I will fish every day. Mm. <laughs> but she showed me the bigger picture. She showed me 5 million can make 10, 10 can make 20, 20 can make 30. And it starts rolling over. And once you see that, and once you, once you respect, or I would say love, the love of my wife gained the respect of my wife, mm -hmm. to be honest. And once I saw what like her mind frame there's nothing she could say. My homeboys and her argue, I'm going to take her side. Mm. That's my wife. Yes, sir. That's my boo. That's my baby. That's my three kids. That's, my, that's, that's who it is. And she is a fucking monster. She is so fucking smart. Two degrees and all that. You got to, you got to, if, if love comes, if respect comes before love or love comes before respect, it doesn't matter. But those two things are right there. And I was going to, I would, I would tell young dudes that listen, that watch, all the young guys going to watch the show. I would tell young guys, the love and respect of your spouse, knowing that she is a, uh, not a liability, but an asset. asset. Yeah. And my wife is the biggest, my wife's a bigger asset to me than the NFL, college football, than media, than radio, than anything else. My wife is a bigger asset to me than anything that I've ever touched or talked to or been with in my life. Right. And that's why I knew that was the motherfucker I need to marry. Right. And that's when I got married. I mean, she only did. She's only done one negative thing in her entire life. Was married. Marry your tail. <laughs> like, I, you know, you know, after you said that stupid stuff about Russ, which I thought was common knowledge, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody started Googling your wife and they felt like you had outkicked your coverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I punted it too far. <laughs> my, my, my coverage team couldn't get down. <laughs> yeah. You see my wife, Cam? 
I have not. Out of respect of you. Bad. <laughs> out of respect of you. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm but my question is, is your wife is that that key asset in your life. The issue that I'm having is, or the question that I'm asking is, everybody you hang out with, what also do they have? No, just just before her? No, 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 no. He talk, he talk about, we, we were talking oh. about friends, and he said he called BS oh, just the friends. on the fact no, 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 that no, no. I have new friends, I, I would say, which no. is actually the truth. Uh, but no, but you have, you, you have to add value, right? Right. Once, you're, once you've made it, bro, Cam, we sitting in this motherfucker, we sitting in- It's beautiful, in, too. Yeah. But this shit is stupid. <laughs> we're sitting here. Once you've made it, what can you add to me? And even we talked about earlier, like, my homeboys, I don't give a damn how much we drank, how much we party. If something goes down or if something, they always think about me. Yeah. They always think about like, bro, no, 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 that ain't, that, ain't, that, ain't, yeah. that ain't you. That ain't you, see? Yeah. And that's the thing that clicks to me. And even RC and Ryan, like, uh, I mean, uh, Freddie, last night, Freddie didn't even want to go out. Freddie did not want to party last night in Atlanta. I'm a party. I'm going yeah. to go out. I'm going to go out. I'm going to hit the streets. Yeah. And Freddie... Slit there sleepy. I said, bro, I'm about to slide. Freddie said, bro, well, that shit, we slide. Because he just knows that I'm going to be with my boy. Yeah. I'm going to be there for him. I'm going to be there. And that's the thing that, like, like even Freddie don't even know, like, for him to think that way, like, I'm going to be there. Like, we, we, if you're going to slide, I'm going to slide with you. Yes, sir. And nothing happened later. We had a good time. We enjoyed ourselves last night. And even RC came out about 1 30 in the morning. Yeah. I don't know why this motherfucker left the house at 1 30. <laughs> he came out last. But Freddie said, bro, if you're hitting it, I'm hitting it with you. Say less. And that's the same thing. Is if Freddie said, hey, I'm slide, I'm gonna slide with Freddie. Mm -hmm. I don't give a damn how sleepy I am. If RC wanna slide, I'm gonna slide with him. Mm -hmm. Where you going? He he go to some weird stuff. Cause RC weird, but <laughs> no matter where he goes, I'm gonna slide. And that's the thing, like with, with new friends, because we'd say, you know, RC's a new friend. Mm. Yeah. But he's right there for us. Yes, sir. No matter what happens, like he like, bro, I'm there with you. Yeah, I think the call and check on us in the morning, bro. You good, see? Like he just checks on you, mm. and he don't have to. He's set. But that's the thing. That's that's the thing with friends is that it has nothing to do. Is there's nothing behind it. There's nothing before it. This moment right now. Yeah. I think I also too. I think also too. What we have to get out of the mindset of saying is like, even though. Like, even when people are like-minded, it's good to have people around you that are different. Yes. Right? Because if, if we always think the same way and if we are all the same and if everything Fred does, I totally understand it and I totally back it, there is no growth there. Right? If, if, I'm, if I'm a minning everything that they always do, then how did I learn? How do we ever have a conversation where I actually have added to you because I'm telling you something you didn't know, or I'm telling you something you didn't think, or I'm telling you something you haven't experienced. And the problem is, it's like, we're so set in our ways and we always think we're right that when you have a homeboy that thinks differently, it's like, nah, I can't, I'm like, I don't really see it that way. Mm -hmm. We can't say, well, tell me how you see it. Yeah. And him telling me that is not him saying I'm wrong, he's giving me a different perspective. perspective. Right. Or or if you like, you know what, if, 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 if Chan loves doing something and I don't necessarily love it and I tell him why I don't. No, nah, that doesn't mean I'm not going to go with him. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I'm going to take care of him. That's my guy. But it's like, you know what, dog? Like we don't always have to do that. Or we don't always have to be there. Or, I'm going to take it in tonight. Or, I'm going to do this. Yeah. I think being around people like that, that allow you to see different things and different mindsets that can still be successful is so valuable. Yeah. That adds to you. You know what I'm saying? Even if they like, if you make a great decision and they go, you know what, Cam, that really wasn't for me. That doesn't mean your decision is bad. It just means it wasn't for them and that's okay. And we have to be okay with other grown men, like Channing said, other lions saying, you know what? I'm gonna sit this one out. Yes, sir. That's okay, you know? Mm -hmm.